Hello guys, mambo vipi? Naitwa Kian, karibu kwa FXB University channel. So in today's video tutaona technical analysis how the market has been performing over the couple of 16 months. Right now we are ending June. Most of time when the market uh, is closing almost the month uh, monthly candles uh, when they are closing to na market players ama market movers ambao kuna brokers kuna hedge funds kuna asset manager kuna uh, banks and all these the market movers now market movers they have to manipulate when they are closing their their accounts books or books of accounts now as we are ending this june uh, we'll see how the market has been performing in a couple of six months and how we may project uh, the other six months in the coming uh, months. Now, make sure if you are new to the YouTube channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button, hit the like button so that you can keep on enjoying my videos. Make sure as well, don't forget to comment just to suggest any topic ambao una his maybe in hizi kawa ni msaada mkubwa kwa kwa au kwa any amateur trader ama advanced trader ama intermediate trader and always do follow us on instagram or on twitter or anywhere else that on our social medias we can also engage and also you can also maybe have fun okay so let's jump into the charts now along the charts ni taanza kuangalia upande wa strength how how the market has been performing over the six months and the 12 months tunaweza tuka project yao we may see the 12 months so nitakuwa na uangalizi juu ya DXY and JPY au basket na no, upande wa pairs ambazo zinakuwa zina interact na JPY na JPY ukiongelea GBP JPY USD JPY CHF JPY all these pairs now along the DXY ni pairs zot um tunaongelea strength ya US dollar so ukiongelea US, US dollar unaweza kudetermine how pairs kama USD CHF vile ambavyo zinakuwa zina perform au unaweza ukaona labda euro USC vile ambavyo itakuwa na perform in a couple of uh, months okay so DXY in a straight the general performance of dollar uh, dollar or United States dollar and also upande wa JPY basket i would also portray it confano this is uh, JPY or yen index basket ambo yenyewe ina onesha strength ya japanese yen over the couple of days okay so in today's video tutaiona generally how has been performing over the couple of 6 months until 12 months okay and then after tutaona pairs ambazo zina let na hii pair moja hapo ikiwa GBP JPY ka JPY and others okay and upande wa DXY tutaangalia pairs kama GBP USD and also other pairs kama euro usd of course tukiona uh, at least the strength ya dx why unaweza ku project other pairs vile ambavyo zitakuwa zina play out okay so let's jump into it now right now nipo kwenye uh, kwenye hipe i mean kwenye general uh, outlook ya dxy now general outlook ya dxy kwenye one week i just want to start in 12 months so that tunaweza kujua how this market has been performing in a couple of 12 months okay now in 12 months how we can see it bre m to ludic nyuma kidogo kwa mtu ambaye maybe ni begin anaweza kawa kidogo uh, mambo ya kawa changanya okay so we have two three market structures okay we have uptrend market structure ambo all this uptrend market structure inakuwa na two moves okay ambo tunakuwa na impulse ambo impulse inatengeneza uh, this high ambo tunaita ni swing ya wengine anayependa kuita high high we also have this lower lower so whenever you see market making this moves which means in uptrend okay and pia ukiona market movement ambayo ina move in this way maybe creating these swing lows swing highs lakini tuna hizi swing lows ambao wengine anazita i do prefer to call swing lows okay and so guys hii tunaita ni downtrend and also ukiona market movement in a move ya namna hii hii tunaita ni sideway market structure which means is the swing highs na swing lows almost na kwa at equal level okay so tukiwa tuna analyze the general market structure 
au in a couple of 6 months ama 12 months tutakuwa tunaweza ku identify either ni itakuwa ni still uptrend ama ni sideway ama ni downtrend okay so let's jump into this pair ambao ni DXY kumbuka kama ni DXY mfano wa pairs kama USCCHF DXY kepo ina buy which means pair ambazo zina zina USD anakuwa ni base okay we have base and quote currency so ikiwa ni base which means uh, itakuwa ina buy uh, which means USD is gaining strength okay na ikiwa ni quote currency which means uh, US dollar itakuwa ina rose strength okay now ikiwa ipo ina buy which means uh, ikiwa ipo na sell which means uh, US is gaining strength kama ni quote lakini kama ni base which means gaining strength i will illustrate all this uh, uh, nikiwa na malizia uh, mwisho mwa hii video okay so how do we see dxy in a, in 12 months natamani kujifunza forex trading uh, ufahamu watu utanzia join the elite community kupitia website yetu www.fsbuniversity unaweza kujifunza trading right in your phone and in your laptop all you need is internet connection donezo kujifunza na trading and when you join line now unapata extra 60 months of mentorship unakuwa na eyes unaweza ku access community yetu unaweza ku access course yako right in your phone what are you waiting for join the community nimekuwa chia link down below join the fxb elite community see you the course nikisema 12 months which means e kind of formation line now ili kukamilika ye kind of formation uh, which means uh, ni ndani ya miezi 12 na nikisema ndani ya miezi 12 which means mpaka ikando na close uh, is almost 12 months kwa mfano hii ya sasa hivi miezi 12 haijaisha so it has to complete also hii kando ambayo ni last one this kind of formation right here hii inaashiria kwamba ni mwaka mmoja ama miezi 12 the same kwa sababu isha kulos now whenever to get to identify the actual market movement ya hii uh, structure unaweza ukaona tulikuwa na hii support ama uh, ili kwa ni impulse and then in correction so almost in a couple of i think how many years ya uh, nikihesabu kwa mfano mwaka wa kwanza wa pili wa tatu wa nne wa tano wa sita ndani ya miaka sita US dollar ilikuwa kwenye consolidation phase and right now tupo kwenye impulsive move kama hii hapa okay now you get my point so which means tukiwa tuna identify market structure hii ni actual uptrend i think you get my point so in a, uh, in 12 months US dollar ipo kwenye bullish move kwa sababu tuko na hii impulse correction na we have the other impulse move. All these market structures inakuwa applicable kwenye any time frame regardless kwamba ni high time frame. Kwa mfano, ukiidentify market structure kwenye RSI 12 months which means it has to last 12 months. Ukiidentify market structure in seconds which means it will last in 2 seconds. Ukiwa kwenye one week which means in 2 weeks, okay? Now you need not to confuse all these kind of concepts, okay? So, line now kwa sababu hii ndio actual level always uh, ya yeah, hii ambayo ilikuwaepo uh, ni a collection ipo kwenye hii low ambayo tunaita ni support, okay? na hii up move ambo ili tap tunaita ni resistance level ambo actual resistance level almost implies iliweza ku break you can see right here naweza nikaimaki vizuri kabisa and also tayari tuliko na hii strong strong uh, kind of formation ingawa ni 12 months ila tutaangalia vizuri pia kwenye 6 uh, months okay now in 12 months though is not yet completed now the next high formation Uh, whenever market ikiweza kupush high kwa mfano let's say tukiform the other 12 uh, months right here inabidi tutegemee e DXY in a top uh, a level i think you get my point and also the lower lower level ni hii huko you see now tuko hapo na hii swing low swing high swing low now the other swing high is just to tap around this level now kwa sababu ni 12 months let's see kwenye 60 months tuweze kujua tuweze kujua ndani ya mezi sita DXY ilikuwa ina perform namna gani ili tuweze kujua in the next 60 months DXY itakuwa ina perform namna gani okay now almost ni one 
uh, oh, one day imebaki zatu imebaki za masai shirini na manne mpaka ikando formation close so whenever ikando formation ki close na mna hii we have to see the other kind of formation na bwana form pia iwe ni strong kwa sababu inatuoneshia kwamba bulls are still in a very bullish momentum now you see this hii inashilia kwamba buyers are in control of the market but remember kwa mfano hii kind of formation na right now ambayo ilifunga we also have this kind of formation ambayo ilifunga we also have this one so hata kama ni strong strong kind of formation ita close na hii still we may see a simple uh, a simple retracement ya retracement ya namna yote ambayo retracement we have to find the key levels ambapo probably market itakuja ku test okay so since in ni 6 months and you can see the other next uh, tab before correction ipo around this level and we na align in a negative 60 uh, negative 61 okay and the other level in a line peer na ki hapo ambapo ilikuwa ni last year recordation you can see wengine wanaita recordation and all that like kwa sababu ni 6 months now let's see uh, in a one month la kwa sababu ni 6 months the other kind of formation ambayo tutaiona it has to push until this level here okay but the retracement now the retracement we may see it when one month now in a one month resi vile ambavyo maybe price it wanna test okay now this is a month kind of formation you can see now we also have neza nikaimaki vizuri kabisa kwamba we had this we had this here okay now kwa sababu huko ni zokona ilikuwa ni impasse and then correction and then the other impasse so which means kama market it are open we have to see price pushing down a bit and almost going up again now you can see what i mean kwa sababu hii ni monthly time frame now kama ni monthly time frame now we are here concentrate na hapa hivi ambacho nakiona right now the push ama high ambayo tuko nayo ni here pa so which means kama market iki close namna hii lazima tu kind of formation ambayo ita open ita ita decollect kidogo ili tuweze ko, uh, test kwenye hii level ambayo tunaita ni support level you have to actually know all these concepts guys kwa sababu kijua concepts yao vile market structure inakuwa na operate inakuwa na kusaidia kujua uh, the general structure ama watu gani ambao wako kwenye control uh, kwenye hiyo market okay you can see right now here bado kaba previous support this is support ambao tuna identify right now kwenye uh, kwenye one month so which means kama market au kind of formation ya one month iki close namna hii the other kind of formation ambayo ita open we may see it retracing until around this level before pushing up i think you get my point and most of the time this market always testing the what the 50% or or 0.3 8% of the fibonacci retracement. You get my point? Now, let's see when you one week as well. Now, you can see in a one week time frame, uh level ambayo tunaisema market has to test in around this level ambo previously ilikuwa ni kama level of support. Nikisema level of support, I mean kwamba hii ndo swing uh swing low, this is swing guy. Now, hii ndo ilikuwa kama correction which means market push it and test it along this level we have to see it pushing until this level before collecting itself maybe tapping along this level ili kuendelea na upside push but all this ita kuendelea within within uh, the uh, weekly time frame okay uh, nimekuambia kwamba utaki kabisa ku confuse unapokuwa kwenye either weekly time frame ama the monthly time frame now i have to zoom it out like this ili uweze kuona uh, kitu gani kinaendelea now let me adjust it kidogo ili uweze kuona clearly uh, this is the most nazita ni sensitive areas okay now the other level is like here ambo indo previously level ambo tunaweza tukaita ni support kwa sababu ni level of support kwa sababu price never break uh, imesha break key level so it has to test ili level yakti kama support though tupo kwenye weekly time frame okay 
Now let's see in a day. In a day, this is what you can see. This is what we can see and experience. Okay. Now this is a weekly candle formation. Ambo bado atajia close. Lakini kwa sababu inaonesha hii ni strong so which means candle formation ambayo itakuwa itakuwa closed right now inabidi tuone ina tap level ambayo ilikuwa ni previous uh, level of resistance. Whenever to keep testi around that level we have to see price almost pushing down ili ku tap level kuendelea na the general up movement okay i hope from this style you shall have kuona vile ambavyo dollar index itakuwa ipo ina react but whenever hata kama dollar index itakuwa ina react namna hii we have to put our eye on uh, other pairs ambazo zitakuwa zina pair dxy ama dollar index ambayo ni ussf uh, euro usc gbp usc and all that kwa sababu tunataka kuangalia maybe euro uh, gbp usc kwa sababu Right now in daily candle formation tukiangalia kwenye 8 hours kwa sababu hapo tunaangalia general in 8 hours you can see hizi levels ambazo tulikuwa tunazmark kwenye hapa time frame in the actual levels ambazo tunazita support and resistance okay we have to see pray a place pushing here testing around this level and almost retracing around this level again ili ku complete level ambayo ilikuwa kama break and retest doesn't require kwamba lazima market ita test there but in the general we have to keep it uh, simple okay i like to keep things simple okay and what i was saying ni vitu kama hivi hii yote ambayo tumeona kule ni correction ambayo inaonesha exactly kwamba we had a strong strong uh, retest kwenye resistance and the price managed to push down test around this level again right now you can see whether this level and box to the projective in uh, elite members and what happened you can see now cuz we to share test uh to share pull on this level and almost the price budget at up around this level so we may see price tapping this level again a retest on this level completing is is a place movement till to break the resistance level na kuendelea up kumbuka tu ilichokuwa tuna project kwenye aya time frame in a month okay hii ni kwa upande wa dxy tutaziona pia jinsi baadaye let's see jpy basket now jpy basket how do we see it this is jpy basket now jpy basket in 12 months let's see in a 12 months basket imekuwa ikiwa inakuwa weak that's the reason why umeona pairs kama gbp jpy ilikuwa ina buy massively reason kwa sababu pound in a gain strength well jpy in a rose strength pairs kama uh, usc jpy imekuwa ina buy sana which means usd is gaining strength at the same time jpy is losing strength na kwenye 12 months unaweza kaona tayari tuna e imeenda all time lower all time low which means hatujae kufika tena ile level na hii ndo we ndo monthly two months kind of formation so let's see kwenye 6 months kind of formation now in 12 in 6 months kind of formation is kuona vile ambavyo uh, almost kind of formation ipo strong strong kwa shida kwamba there are more sellers in this uh, market structure you can also see in a weekly market structure in a weekend za kuona tayari tuko kwenye hii lower lower kind of formation but we never tested kwenye his resistance level ambazo there ambazo inabidi zitan into resistance okay if i say uh, resistance ama support and resistance i mean is it liquidation uh, okay kwa mfano hii nitan actual liquidation ile ama sensitive way ya okay and kwa sababu hii ni monthly na hii ndo candle formation ya one month inaenda ku close which means tukiona the other candle formation ina close inabidi tuone at least ina push na ku test 50% of this candle formation okay ambo 50% of the candle formation unaweza pia ku identify kwa kutumia fibonacci retracement now if i see maybe the fibonacci formation candle formation ea one point a na hii pia iwe ni point b uta notice kwamba the candle formation itakuwa na test around 50% of the uh, candle formation ya one month but let's see kwenye weekly now kwenye weekly how do we see hii level kwenye weekly uh, ni actual level ambayo unaweza kaona ilikuwa ni previously 
support level ambo almost the price imesha act tena kuwa kama resistance meaning kwamba we may see price again retesting this level and continue all way down kama tulivyoona the 6 month is kind of formation ambayo itakuwa form ili tuendelee na the actual downtrend but also unaweza kalifa kwenye one week kind of formation vile ambavyo maybe in weeks vile ambao market inaweza play out okay in a daily let's see in a day this is how market is here yeah, bando vile market ambavyo ipo and unaweza kaona almost market ilikuja ku kufanya liquidation kwenye hii market imbalance around here tukapata hizi liquidation now hizi zote liquidation inaashiria kwamba hii ilikuwa ni sensitive area uh, around hii imbalance if you see the strong push in the imbalance uh, market lakini ukita kujua momo hakisha una enroll kwenye fxb elite course kwa ajili ya kujua hizi concept like when you should enter your actual trade unavona hizi market imbalances but now kwenye hii kitu ambayo tunaiona right now unaweza kuona hii yote ni correction kuashiria kwamba we have to see the other push down until around this level ili tuendelee na all way down kama price ikiendelea ku hold all this but you have to keep in mind what we saw in a bigger picture kwenye time frame okay now i hope you get my point now um to key zoom out in a what in a one day we may see in a couple of uh, days ambazo zitakuwa zinaendelea inabidi tuone yen at least in again strength now yen ikiwa na gain strength kutapo around this level inabidi tuone pairs kama GBP JPY KJPY zinafanya push down kwa ajili ya ku complete zile faces ama ku complete zile 50% ama 60% of the monthly candle formation i hope you get my point hii ukiona ina gain strength which means you see GBP JPY ina sell and ikiwepo ina sell which means GBP JPY ama pair yote ambayo inampea yen at same time yen ni base currents i mean what currents na bituone in a buy now is concept zote let's try to uh, apply them kwenye pairs ambazo zinampea basket i would only give you an example kwenye pairs ambazo zinampea basket now let's start with gbp jpy now gbp jpy okay gbp jpy na analyze pair simply because ni one of the favorite pair let me remove all this Now this is what we can see. I will start same in a one month, okay? Naanzia kwenye one month so that unaweza kaona vile monthly ama 12 months uh, vile ambavyo tunaweza tukaiona uh, GJ ambavyo ipo sold this is 12 months. Now this 12 months now. Yes, now can see this is 12 months now. This 12 months in the 12 months unaweza kaona tuna e kind of formation ambayo ina act kwamba tupo kwenye strong strong bullish move now the other kind of formation ambayo itakuwa formed around here inabidi tuone ina complete e uh, uh, imbalance level am um, imbalance au price imbalance or this let me remove all this and mark them uh, tuna hii level ambayo ni kama support kwenye bigger picture we also have this level ambayo ni kama resistance ambayo price never tested sio kutoka mwaka gani lakini we also have e level ambo price has to come and test around this level maybe in the coming 12 months okay but let's see kwenye 6 months ili tuweze kupata actual a bigger picture in the 12 months we have to see uh, we not see kwamba tuna hii level ambo almost ilikuwa ni kama support level ambo price ili manage ku break na strong strong momentum ya 6 month kwa sababu hii candle formation inakuja ku close uh, tayari tunamaliza miezi sita iki close namna hii which means we have more more bias in the uh, in this market structure uh, which is the bullish market structure maana kina bi tuone na tap huko juu i don't know when but we have to see it tapping around this level okay kwa sababu watu ambao ni position trader traders na right now wako kwenye strong strong bullish momentum which means they are more buying position kwenye hii uh, kwenye hii market structure now you get my point but for retail traders ndani ya hii bullish move ya buying and selling buying and selling okay now hii ni kwenye 6 months kwenye 6 months tayari tuna hii high push ambao ni almost a key level ambao ni kama support level 
resistance level inaweza kuwa natoka huku ini level ambayo almost imekuwa ikiwa respected now let's see kwenye one month if you see kwenye one month kwa sababu tayari tunakuja u close the monthly candle na kwa sababu ni monthly candle unaweza kuona hizi level zote ambazo zikuwa zinaact kama support and resistance almost implies ilikuwa ikija kuzimitigate na almost inakuja complete kwa sababu ni uh, bullish ambayo ni kama impasse and then correction ya kutesa around this level and you almost tali tushatoka kwenye hii level kwa sababu hii ni monthly candle formation ambayo inakuja ku close uh, within 24 hours right now we have to see kind of formation ambayo inakuwa formed around this level at least inapata pull back dogo ku complete e 50% ya hii kind of formation now 50% of this kind of formation unaweza ukatafuta where uh, 50% itakuja ku test now the 50% most probably inezikawa around this level here okay i hope you get my point now i can also read this and see it in a weekly now in a weekly ni actual level ambo most of the time price has never never ever came back around this level ili ku complete its market structure and ndo ki level ambo tumeita kama ki uh, support ama support level okay now i will get my point now for in a weekly time frame nezo kona hii ndo kind of formation ambo right now tunaenda ku close na ambo still na yeye inashilia kwamba there are more buyers and there are more sellers into this because so, tuna hii first push down tuna hii second push down tuna hii third push down ambo ndo ilikuwa rust up let's view it in one day now in one day we can see kwamba tuna hii correction move na hii ndo kama itakupa we go ahead kujua kulilete na ile uh, yen basket ambayo tumeiona kule this an impasse this an correction now we have to see the other impasse tapping around this level maybe completing this imbalance ili tuendelee na the general uptrend market move i hope you get my point and you know the vibe guys you know the vibe i hope all these things ambayo ziko ni very very simple to you you have to put uh, uh, you have to concentrate on them so that unezuka ukajua how vile market ambavyo ina pray we have to see the other push like this one here okay na hizi nazita ni uh, ni textbook textbook structures about so if you are a beginner you have to know them okay so right now what do we see kwenye gj in a general daily time 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 frame we have to see it selling in a bit to one in a sell kwa uh, six months kind of formation ili complete 50% kwenye one month completing 50% ili tuendelee na the general uptrend lakini wewe ile kiepo ina sell kama hivi inabidi tuone yen basket na yenyewe kiepo ina buy now do you see how you relate them if you want to know more about how you can make entries make sure you visit my website nimekuachia link down bro au unaweza ka visit the website ya money www.fxbuniversity.com kuna ndo unaweza ka assess our elite course ya mwenyeza kupa guidance kwanza uh, beginner level mpaka advanced level you wanna be a pro trader like me au among elite members ambao wanafanya vizuri mpaka sasa hivi okay lakini say unaweza kaengage na other elite members kwenye community yetu ambao kuna discord community kuna telegram community kuna whatsapp communities but all these communities ni kwa ajili ya kujifunza tunafanya session in the middle of the week tunafanya session friday tunafanya session sunday simply because to be the best in the market okay Remember Rome haikuwa built in a single day okay ili tumia muda kuwa built so concentrate in your journey each and every day nice for you kama umeangalia hii video mpaka mwisho don't forget to hit the like button don't forget to subscribe don't forget to follow us on our social media platform see you when you see me